Okay, today is October 27th, 2016, and right now at 10 p.m. in the foothills of Los Angeles, we have a temperature of 64 degrees. The barometer is reading 29.96 inches. The relative humidity is 55%, and the dew point is 49 degrees. And we have some weather moving in to the Southern California area. Uh, the problem is we had a lot of chemtrail spraying today, very, very heavy, all through Arizona and Southern California. Uh, we have a low pressure system right here, or half of a low pressure, I should say. This has a transmitter on it. You can see that this is trying to wrap around. There's no uh, continuity here. We have a transmitter right dead on the top of that square on the top of that uh, core, and everything is evaporating right around the back side. There is a, a jet stream flow right here, and we have a transmitter generated blockade right here, which is uh, preventing this flow from feeding that developing storm right there. This is moving south. And this is forecast to bring uh, more rain in a few days to the uh, state. All right. Uh, this is the remnants of uh, Hurricane Seymour. This is now a tropical storm with 45 mile per hour winds. This uh, two days ago was a Category 4 storm with 150 mile per hour winds. The storm was destroyed with microwave. We can see uh, what's left of that. The core uh, right here is uh, trying to rebuild. And uh, that's uh, moving right towards Southern California. Let's take a look at the uh, rainbow map. You can see a lot of weather moving in. This is misleading, though. If you take a look at the uh, uh, the Doppler map, you can see that uh, Southern California is not getting a whole lot of rain yet. We're uh, right down here, and there's not a whole lot of rain. Now, if we zoom in, uh, we can see some... Uh, nefarious activity in this area. I've been uh, watching this very closely. There is a transmitter affecting the moisture field right here. And take a look at how straight that pattern is right there. There is a transmitter that is evaporating our rainfall offshore of San Diego and Los Angeles. Okay, it's not affecting everything, up, anything up here, uh, at least for the time being, but Right off of Los Angeles, we can see that uh, there is definitely something going on here. Uh, look at the pattern. I've got the envelope up here on the screen. As I move that right on top of that line of moisture, you can see how well that lines up. I've been watching this all night, and I just happened to catch another instance of, of what they're doing. Now, here about an hour ago, we had two straight lines. Uh, and I triangulated the, the center of the, of the uh, we had another line that was uh, right about sort of like this. And we had this line here. And when I triangulated the center of, of this cone, it ended up right just east of Escondido up in these mountains. There's probably a transmitter somewhere up in this area just east of Escondido if we get the Google Earth. Uh, if we look, a few of us uh, take a look in these mountains here very carefully on Google Earth, we might see a some golf ball uh, type radomes in this area. Anyhow, we do see what's going on here. And if we uh, put the arrow or the uh, envelope here, we can see that that, that uh, line is still matching right up into the same area that I was just talking about. The tip of this envelope is right near the O, sort of on the other side of the end of that O. Okay, so let's take a look and uh, see if we can find a transmitter right about in this area. That map's not working. All right. Somewhere in these mountains, right? Right here. There's Escondido. Right here. Okay. Uh, let's go back to the maps. We have the hurricane map. Let's take a look at the National Hurricane Center map. This is Seymour. Been knocked down by microwave transmitters to a weak 45 mile per hour a tropical storm moving north at 10 miles per hour. We have the jet stream map here. This is uh, being disrupted right where that, uh, this is a surface to upper level low as indicated on the pressure maps. This is that half of a uh, low pressure system we were talking about. Anyway, the uh, jet stream is being uh, manipulated there. See that again here on this map. 
a transmitter right all through this area, which is uh, blockading this jet stream from feeding that low. And we have an area of uh, right here, which is uh, right where the pen is separating that uh, former hurricane from this low pressure system right here. And that will maintain separation for the time being between these two systems. Okay, let's take a look now at the uh, western U.S. map and get a better uh, view of that 1,010 millibar low, uh, half of it right there. The transmitter is cutting off all the moisture as it evaporates around the back side here. And again, this is where all the rain is occurring. Everything here has all been chemtrail. Let's take a look at the MODIS today map. This is really something. We're looking at the Colorado River uh, right here, which separates California and Arizona. And look at all these streaks. Chemtrails all over the place. You can barely see the uh, salt and sea. These chemtrails cause a capping inversion layer and stop the rain. You have to have two things for rain to occur. You have to have lift and you have to have moisture in the uh, atmosphere. I had to kick off a few, uh, I had to kick out a couple of people on the uh, on the forum today on the YouTube channel because they were uh, talking about how chemtrails are a conspiracy theory. Okay, so I don't tolerate that. And so they were booted. Uh, this is not a conspiracy theory. These are facts. Chemtrails are, are sprayed by the jets. Uh, every time we have an incoming moisture field, uh, we will uh, see the jets up spraying. And take a look at all these lines. They're running every which way. These are the nat uh, natural clouds. This brilliant white right here. All this is natural clouds, but the the off-white stuff here, this gray off-white stuff, this is all the chemtrail mix. And uh, they were spraying very, very heavily today. Look at this. This is really something. And you wonder, where, where is the Environmental Protection Agency? Where is the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency? What do they do all day? <clears throat> this is really something. And the FBI in our country, what's wrong with them? There's two sets of rules. That, you know, the rules for the elites and the rules for the rest of us. Okay. And uh, things got to straighten out. We've got uh, the rule of law is breaking down. The checks and balances that uh, used to uh, correct the wrongs that were made are no longer working. Okay, so we saw this map. Let's carry on here. We have uh, the uh, these maps. We have Western U.S. map. This is supposed to bring rain. This is heading right towards us. Keep an eye on that. Here's the uh, East Pacific water vapor loop. Remnants of Seymour uh, right there. Let's see the uh, infrared map. A lot of clockwise rotation here. High pressure being installed. Okay, here's the surface analysis map. You see that low pressure system right here, which is uh, moving into uh, central and southern California. Here's the hurricane, former hurricane right here, moving to the north northeast. High pressure, always there. 1,031 millibar. They just move this around. This is that storm that may bring rain for a uh, few days down the road, right here, 980 millibar, moving to the uh, southeast, south-southeast. Keep an eye on that. Here's the uh, SSCC map. And we can see all that weather moving into uh, Southern California. Problem is all the chemtrails have stopped the opportunity here in the south, uh, southern part of the country, or rather the southern part of the state that's a problem we need to rain here the most here's the surface map and we see another closed low is formed over the last day right there got that low right here this is that former hurricane and another low up here which is moving to the south 
500 millibar we have closed low right here this is supposed to bring rain we've got all these uh, squiggly lines again here's an area of high pressure that's been installed that'll probably steer this tropical storm right up into uh, either Arizona or Southern California it's all high pressure right in here and at the 300 millibar level we have uh, is that low so uh, we'll keep an eye on things and uh, Hope that we get some rain, but it's in their hands. It's in the weather controller's hands. All right, we'll just leave it here and uh, do another update uh, tomorrow. That's it.